Amazon. There, that's right. Amazon. We just talked about them last week about how you can just walk into the store and walk right on out. Um, they're basically releasing that technology. But did you know that Amazon is now using your conversation with Alexa to train AI? That's right. They're using Alexa to train AI with your actual voices. I can't make this up. This is what's going on. I'm going to break it down. We're going to read it. And uh, you you let me know what you think of this. All right. Uh, they had a hardware event last week and they revealed that the company would soon be upgrading the capabilities of its well-known voice assistant, Alexa, and basically saying that uh, the magical power of generative AI, <laughs> uh, they basically said this is what they're going to roll out. Um, the large language model designed to be integrated into the voice assistant to make its responses more intelligent and lifelike. Now, this is no surprise that it will also be known. It, it's also, it will also be using an unknown amount of user conversations to train Alexa's newly emerged AI capabilities. So the only way that they can do this is if you have an Alexa in the home. All right. So if you have an Alexa in the home, they're going to be listening to your conversations. Um, that's right. Um, they're also saying um, Amazon admitted user conversations with Alexa were being used for product improvement and development. While you know that it isn't necessarily unexpected, they're saying is yet another reminder that in modern times, your data is extremely important to corporations while your privacy is more or less of an afterthought. So basically, what would you say? That is the key right there. That is so important for people to understand is the data is, is, is like the most valuable thing to these companies, more precious than gold, you know, these, these days, you know, so, uh, it's an afterthought in their mind that is phrased the perfect way. Yeah. So, I mean, basically they give you the device at a, at a lower price, right? They give you the price, uh, give you the device at a lower price. They tell you how cool it is, but they don't tell you all the good things and all the bad things that go with it. So it's a double edged sword. Now, they said uh, um, the policy of using customer voice recordings to train the company's algorithms was not a new development. We've always believed that training Alexa with real world requests is essential to delivering this experience. And they're also saying that Alexa was powered by a number of large language models and that those models sometimes relied on training from users real world conversations to grow their capabilities. They're also saying that only an extremely small fraction of user voice recordings are used in this way, but could not give hard numbers on how many. So they're saying it's just a little bit, but we're going to be using your voice. So if you're having that conversation in the home and you have an Alexa device, in a few years, AI is going to be able to know your model, know your behavior, and they're going to basically be able to sell something to you that it already knows your voice. It already knows your behaviors. It already knows what you're probably going to be doing around eight o'clock, what you're doing at six o'clock when you wake up in the morning, what you say to your kids that this is basically what they're doing. Um, now it's not to say, uh, that they said that, uh, the company also claimed that customers will still have access to the same robust, robust set of tools and privacy controls that put them in control of their Alexa experience today. So technically you can turn all of this stuff off if you want, but the problem is most people don't even know that they're doing this and you have to literally dig deep into the settings to turn it off. But most people don't even know that this is actually happening in real time. So I just want to give you a heads up of what's actually happening. So if you have an Amazon Alexa in the home, this is probably rolling out right now, uh, or they're probably letting it happen right now. Um, also, let's see, what else are they saying here? They're saying that Alexa has had a problem, uh, or has had a history of problems. So just giving you a heads up of what's been going on in the past of Alexa, they're saying, uh, Alexa has always had something of a privacy hazard, despite the company's continual claims on to the contrary, that the virtual assistant is just a giant hover of user data. Historically speaking, 
And then they're also saying that the user has limited control over where that data goes or what happens to it. Now they're saying back in 2019, it was revealed that thousands of Amazon employees all over the world were listening to and also transcribing conversations that were had with the assistant. But they said that after the backlash, they cut all that out and they said they're not gonna allow human screeners to access the voice commands. Now, the same feature should also help users who don't want their commands to be used to train Amazon's AI algorithms. So if you want to wash your hands of the company's uh, product uh, development process, uh, you can go over to the Alexa privacy settings on the web or on the mobile device, or you can simply just not use the device at all. Your thoughts on this, uh, Rob? What, what, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I'm kind of on the side of not using it at all. <laughs> that's just me, though. Uh, that's it's, it's too much to give up when it comes to uh, convenience, because that's how they get you with the convenience of it. Um, I read a story about a family i think uh a, like a dad he was in one room and his son was in another like a like an infant his infant son and somebody somehow hacked into the uh the alexa and was able to speak to the baby while the father was in the other room and they were able to monitor as well through mm. the ring camera with the uh um alexa so these things are you know it's it's really up to you you know they take your data and they and they serve you convenience but it's it's a uh, it's, it's a double-edged sword that you have to choose to, to deal with yourself and I choose not to deal with it because these are things I'm not willing to to give up at this point but as we go further into the future it's just a you know everyday part of life you know now that's a fair statement man um let me see I'd rather not use Alexa at all says uh Rodell uh, I'm not mad at you I do not have these devices in my home as much as I love tech I, th I think that that's just too much tech that, uh, that that's out there. Um, it, it's not something that I want in my home. It's bad enough that I already have my phone already listening to what I'm doing. Uh, but at the same token, um, I think that that's just too much for you know me to allow a big brother um, to, to have uh, too much control, if that makes any sense. It's just too much for me. Um, let me see what are some of the other comments are saying. What else are they listening to? Says Revis. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good you know, thing. Go ahead. They, they were telling you that they've been listening for a long time. It's not just now that they, 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 they're starting. They've been saying they listen for a long time now. They're just telling you that the system is getting an upgrade pretty much, you know, through mm. these uh, uh, large language models like ChatGPT. So they're just adding an upgrade and another feature to, to what's already existing. Right, right, right. Um, no, I mean, there's nothing wrong with liking Alexa. Just know that they're using your voice and they're listening to your conversations. Um, I'm not trying to take anything away from anybody with using Alexa. You can actually go into the settings and turn it off, go into the privacy settings, or you can just get rid of Alexa altogether if you just don't trust it like the way myself and Rob says we don't trust the software, right? Like you can literally do that. So um, I got a question for you. Let me know in the comments. Do you like the idea Amazon is using your voice to train AI? One, yes, it will make it better. Two, hell no, I don't know what I, what I was buying. Three, I'm not mad, it's in the fine print. Four, I don't have an Alexa and won't be purchasing one either. Five, I need to purchase one now. What do you think? One, two, three, four, five, let me know in the comments what you actually think of Alexa using uh, training uh, Amazon using Alexa to train the voice uh, or listening to your conversations. Let me know in the comments. Uh, definitely would like to know your thoughts when it comes to this. Okay. Um, now, Rob, what I wanted to ask you is, I mean, you already said that this is something that you're not going to have in your home. So, I mean, I guess my thing was how long or how early did you catch on to something like this? Um, it's been a few years now, pre-pandemic. You just hear these stories every once in a while about Alexa breaching some type of security when it comes, it, and it's it's different levels to it too because you can buy Alexa straight out the box and use it. But Alexa was designed to be a 
a IoT device. So a lot of people actually connect their house and their appliances to Alexa and they control it through Alexa. You know, Alexa, turn on my TV, Alexa, turn on my, you know, my computer. And you give control to this, uh, to this AI that's listening to you at all times, you know, you kind of giving it the power to, to, to mess your life up. Or if somebody was to come in with the, the skill set of, you know, a hacker, they could just, you know, they could do all types of things to your life because all the information is, is, is stored in this device and um, it's listening to you all the time and it's, you know, it's learning. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think it's just one of those things that you just have to be cognizant. And I know that they tell you all the good things of what Alexa does for you. But at the same token, for every good, there's always some form of bad. And we just have to be mindful of what the bad is before we just go for the good. And in any commercial that they promote out there, they're never going to tell you, oh, this has cancer or this will allow you to die or we're listening to your conversations. They're never going to tell you that oh. in the commercial. They're going to tell you all the good stuff, but they're not going to tell you any of the bad stuff. So keep that in mind and anything that you purchase, especially when it comes to tech products. I mean, it's a blessing, but it's also a curse. It's the Lab Tech Show. Join us Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern at thelabtechshow.com. Embrace it or get left behind. Hold up.